so I'm doing an editing tutorial. Let's see how this will work out. Um, I hate being English on it. So first we're going to buy this paint X. And if you want to do a singular edit, then you just use HD size. But you could import a picture if you want. This is my friend's image. Don't choose extract line drawing at all. You choose the pen 100% for the brush, but first you make the layer transparent and then you do line. Sometimes I like putting it after as a brush. It kind of helps guide those lines a little bit because sometimes they suck at line art. brush is too thick and you'll start to see that it's bigger than the actual liner itself but I don't care this time that ear And also, sometimes I like putting little lines in the hair to represent hair strands. And yes, my editing app is X Paint X. If you use a computer, well, I don't know what to tell ya. Because I don't have a computer, and the computer I do have is only for school. Got the hair down. Well, the front hair. Please keep sure that you don't. Well, don't keep any gaps showing because, well, I find it a bit frustrating sometimes that I have to clean up a little mess called leaving gaps in my line art, but if you like using gap recognition on Ibis Paint X, then I highly recommend that. I'm so less camera shy than I am recording an actual video of myself, but when I record a video of my voice only, then I feel more confident. <laughs> I even like putting strands of hair and tails. Next to head. I like making the eyes a little. I like making the eyelashes stand out more from the character by making it show out from the other line art.
this brush is really thick. Don't worry, if you have any mistakes and you could just easily erase them. Also, here's a tip. If you're drawing a character holding hands or something like that, then give the fingers a little bit of a more rounded and flat look so then it looks like they're holding hands. My store space is going to be dead after this. And also, you don't have to use after as the forest fade section, but this is a phone tutorial, by the way. For a computer tutorial, same thing, but find brushes that look very very similar to the ones I'm using right now, please. I'm asking you really kindly. And I'm usually not for that nice. Hey, boots! There we go, finish the line art. There we go, that looks amazing. Now next step. Remove the actual model, but don't delete it. You need the colors. Now I just like using bucket and then the eyedroppers, so Oh, darn, I said I could never get hair. Yep, I got another layer. Oh, crap, I forgot I have gap recognition. Gap recognition is only a choice. If you don't want to use it, then that's totally fine, but make sure they don't have any gaps in your artwork at all. If they're small gaps, then you don't need to worry, but if they're large gaps, geez, you need to fill them up. This is fade hair, and I'll show you how I'll do fade hair in a second. <laughs> Number one choice, don't use a thick brush. <laughs> but 1.9 is usually the thinnest brush type I use. But yeah, if you find something really thin, then please use it, but make sure that you don't have any gaps again. <laughs> Alright, so here's how... Oh, and also, make sure that you don't tap it too much, or else the color will show on the rest of the line on outlining it. Alright, so I just like making another layer, clipping it to the hair, and then... I like using airbrush normal and then going to the model and then eye dropping it. Make it big so it will go on, but also don't make it too big. And then I just merge it down. Boom.
And now the next layer. Next layer I usually do is clothes. If you see me do eyes instead, then, well, please let me know, because I'm pretty forgetful sometimes. Alright, so what color is that same color? So if you can tell good to myself, I just, it's my way of getting my confidence. Alright, so... Also, when I have to do something white, I'm mostly like, just making the layer transparent. And then making fresh colorable whites. For stuff like this, I usually like using my dip pen. Oh darn it, I forgot a thing to have after. Once you get out of your line art stage, switch your brush back to real time if you used after on it. And if you use force fade for it, then turn off force fade. <laughs> Our, oh crap, I forgot something about the hair. Everybody makes mistakes though, that's what my mom tells me. I finished the clothes, I'm moving on to the eyes. This character has three different color eyes. Oh, darn it, brown color. Remember to choose the original color. I need to want text. Alright, now the shading. I usually like going to multiply and... Oh, um... <laughs> Pencil grab. Yes, for free. Twenty billion years of this stupid advertisement later. Wait a minute, one my brother drank by soda. I did want that soda. Okay, hold on.
so I'm gonna get the most eyebrows, make sure that the size fits here like in the video Hi, you have to bring them into your room. Okay. Whoa! I fell off the bed. <laughs> I fell off the bed. Yeah, I'm okay. Of course. So where was I? Oh yeah, boring. The blur doesn't show, it's okay. You do another layer of multiply to make it darker. Right there. Past second two. All right. I always use normal and depend hard. Turn off force fade. And select the color of the hair. Make it slightly darker. Then start to do this mostly.
said, yeah. I'm also gonna do the same thing that's skin for a clothes only no other layer. I don't know how to explain it. There, now blur it. Hold on, it's going to Alright, another multiply layer, but make sure to select people's only. And then go to add. Depends soft. Yes. 